Hey, welcome to a quick episode of the Bobby Experience. I am joined by my co-host for today, uh, Raphael, the realtor from the Ralphie and Ryan show. That's right. And we're here to briefly discuss like our final thoughts about the upcoming uh, Woodley versus uh, Jake Paul fight. Uh, we're about 45 minutes into this Showtime pay-per-view event. What are your predictions? I have been reviewing uh, this fight this whole entire week. I must admit, I've watched probably every prediction video on YouTube, and I feel like I got a grasp on the fight, um, but I could be completely wrong because uh, it's the fight game, and that's why we're watching it. Okay. Uh, so, really quick, my prediction, so it's just, just a cut to the chase, Woodley by KO. Okay. What round? <sighs> it's going to take a while, and he's, he's patient. So I'm gonna say fifth round. Fifth? Wow. Fifth round. That's good, going longer than what I thought thought it was gonna be. Cause this this is an eight round fight. So, cause I know like generally with a lot of fights, uh, first round they're feeling them out. Um, so this is my prediction is that I don't think there's gonna be a whole lot of feeling out. I think um, uh, we we didn't haven't gotten to see like a whole lot of Jake Paul in action because his fights don't la didn't last very long. Uh, but then he was going against like, like another YouTuber, uh, former NBA player. Uh, but from what I've seen, like in his um, in like open workout footage, like on, an, on another YouTuber's channel, and I'll just cut to the chase. He, his footwork is not there. Uh, at least Jake. like Jake's right. So it at least he plays it off like he doesn't have any footwork. Uh, but I don't see him having like the best footwork, uh, and I, I highly doubt he. He definitely doesn't have as much power as Tyron Woodley. Or the other athleticism either. Right, and experience. Um, but I don't want to count him out either because he has more just plain boxing experience versus Tyron Woodley. Uh, and, but Tyron, I mean, he's, he has power in his hands. Um, he has that knockout power. Uh, but he isn't solely for boxing. He, he mixes it up with his wrestling. So uh, that's going to be a could be a challenge for him, uh, but I still predict a similar prediction to yours, uh, where a KO uh, Tyron Woodley by between the second and third round. Yeah, it could it could go down that fast. It, it really comes down if uh, it'll go down if Woodley notices that he can hurt him, and if he can start landing. And I think Woodley has them fast twitchies and unlike Jake he's been in the fight business for a long time and uh, he already understands what it is to go up against top level competition and I know they say well, it's, it's not boxing Kamaru Usman is a beast I think I mean he just think about this think about what Silva did to Chavez Jr. you know a, 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 a Chavez Jr. that's his family and, and he lost to Silva Granted, Silva's probably considered one of the best strikers in MMA, but why not? I think Woodley could pull it off. And, and he, he's got the exposed. He was going up against basketball players. Woodley knows how to land these, and I think that might be enough. But Jake looks pretty good, man. But I, I agree with you. I don't think he has the, the footwork. Right. And, and I don't think he has the athleticism, and I don't think he has been. He's not proven. Like, I, I want to see how Jake acts when he gets hurt I we want him see, to go into deep rounds we haven't gotten to see that yet I mean he he finished his opponents with ease uh, and he hasn't faced like high caliber competition he like I said youtuber and a former NBA player uh, the NBA um, the guy who, who the basketball player he faced last I can't its name escapes me Nate Robinson Nate Robinson I mean there's athleticism there but it it, it doesn't translate. Uh, athleticism on the basketball court doesn't necessarily translate to skills in boxing. I mean, like there's, they may have the endur some endurance, um, but it it, do it doesn't necessarily mean that someone on, that does fantastic on the basketball court court has, uh, you know, the the, the skill to to necessarily uh, translate to this skill for boxing. It doesn't necessarily mean that. So he. So Jake, he, Paul, he hasn't faced anybody of Tyrone Woodley's power. Uh, and I'll say this, if by some chance that uh, Jake Paul wins, 
I'll be a I'll be a Jake Paul fan. I'll be a problem child fan. I, I mean, I respect him without a doubt. A fan, not really. I'm I'm really Jake. Jake Paul knows how to promote himself, and he understands that some people want to see him win, and some people really want to see him lose. And I'm in the I want to really see him lose camp. Now I think it's great what he's doing. I think he is so successful in what he his day job is. It's pretty impressive that he's willing to take on beast man like Woodley. I would I would not go in the ring with that guy. I mean the guy's killer. But I still respect him and um I, I can't wait to see. I can't wait to see. See this is what I why I think uh, Jake Paul was willing to fight Tyron Woodley's because uh Tyron Woodley is coming off consecutive losses in the UFC. To beast. Right. To the the top. Top, the top guys. Top, top guys though. And he's he's like in his late thirties. Uh but I don't think that age may be a fact much of a factor um so yeah Woodley has been his last fight he got he got submitted right I believe so but I think it was by choke I, yeah. I'd have to double check like the uh, sure dog so so sites. if he's never if he's never gotten his lights put out or not recently right his his, his chin is not really in question so he might be able to handle the the, the bigger uh, uh, Jake Paul um, it's, it's really about him landing his, his, his right hook. That's really what it is, I think. If he can land that right hook in close, uh, I think he can put, I think he can put Jake, uh, Jake Paul's lights out. Right. Well, our prediction is what's in this thumbnail uh, here. I'll put the picture there. Um, but folks, have a good night. Enjoy the fights. And just want to say thanks, uh, Rafael, the realtor, for... Be, uh, being on the show and being a guest and be sure to catch him on uh, the Ralphie and Ryan show where they discuss uh, real estate. Real estate. We're real estate agents and we invest in real estate so if you guys are interested in any of that uh, you know, look us up. Alright, fantastic. Thanks for watching and have a great night. Take care.